So what is it? It's a formal argument that assumes one or more principles are self-evident, and then proceeding from the general to the specific makes one or more conclusions about these principles. Now, induction, on the other hand, proceeds from the specific to the general. So you can see the obvious difference. Now, of course, pay attention to this. Deduction uses the classic form, all men are mortal. Socrates is a man, therefore, Socrates is mortal. Pay attention to this form, it is called a syllogism. Now, induction doesn't use syllogism, it uses its more factual, empirical, if you will. It uses scientific method to draw inferences proceeding from the specific to the general to draw these conclusions. Induction, by contrast, is empirical and factual, uh, ordinary feeling. It makes use of experiment, experience, uh, the scientific method, if you will. When you make an induction, you begin by uh, counting noses. You begin by ordinary looking at experiences. You look at the, you take measurements. You you uh, record instances. You count noses. You. class. Oh, lots of fun. Real educational experience. What are you doing here, TJ? Well, I'm just looking for a story for the school newspaper. That never happens around here. That's because you're always looking for the story of the century. With murder or cover-up corruption, you're a writer on the school paper. Why don't you do a story on the seats in the gym? That's what I mean. New, new seats don't sell papers. Graphic scandals and violence do. TJ, the paper's free. Why are you worried about profits? I'm just trying to make it a little more interesting. Spice it up a little. That's why I'm following around some weird guy who's probably going to kill somebody any minute. What weird guy? Someone I've never seen before. I don't think he was a student. He was um, walking around campus as if he was looking for someone. Why, have you seen him? Maybe, but I'm not sure. I'm following him around so I can get a picture when he starts a shooting spree, which I know is coming. <laughs> now that's why I got into journalism. Nice, TJ. You'll go far in this business. That's what I'm hoping for. Let me know if you see him. Oh, my God. What, do you see him? No. It's a girl of my dreams. Who? Lisa Warnock? Someday I'll marry that girl. And how does she feel about you? Well, she doesn't know I'm alive yet. Well, go down and talk to her. Don't be silly. This calls for a more subtle approach. I can't seem desperate. I've got to make her notice me. Are you Detective Roberts? Thanks, David. Yeah, I'm Roberts. What can I do for you? 
My name is Dr. My name is Dr. Newman. The officer up front said you saw a hitchhiker earlier today. I've been looking for a patient of mine who's been missing since Tuesday, and I'm wondering if you've seen him. So what's he look like? Nice shooting. For a woman? No, for anybody. Nice picture. Who is he? His name's Jason. Jason what? Uh, just Jason. He's a very special young man. He's involved in a research project of mine, and his identity must remain confidential. What research project? Uh, I'm not really allowed to say. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, all right. I did think I saw him this morning, and by the college, he was a hitchhiker, but I was in a hurry and didn't have time to stop. Where did he come from, and why? A facility in northeastern New Mexico. He slipped out a couple days ago. We're not sure why. Is he dangerous? I could put an APB out on him. No, no, thank you, Detective, but thank you for your help. Uh, Dr. Newman, is there someplace I could reach you in case I happen to see him again? Here's my card, Detective. At this number, you can leave a message, and they'll forward it to me. Thanks. Excuse me, but what is this that you're looking at here? It's a painting by Pablo Picasso. A what, what? It's a painting. It's called The Honey. Several years ago, a renowned art thief stole this from a friend of mine. I helped to get it back. His father just donated it to the gallery here. Well, um, why did Pablo Picasso paint it? It's a piece of art. So what exactly is Art. You're not from around here, are you? Why do you say that? Well, they don't seem to have art where you're from. Well, no, not exactly. Who are you? Jason. I'm Laura. Are you a student here? No, I'm, I'm looking for someone. Who? Um, a teacher. I. I think he still works here. What's his name? Well, I don't know, but I have him in this photo. It's a pretty old photo. But it almost looks like Mr. Ryan. Do you know him? Maybe. Why are you looking for him? You're not armed, are you? My what? Forget it. Well, look, do you know where he is? Could you take me to him? Well, yeah, sure. But aren't you enjoying the Picasso? I still don't understand what art is. 
guess this is art. My name is Barnes. Every time you say that, you make me sound like I'm some sort of freaking purple dinosaur or something. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you find anything out about Dr. Newman? Uh, yeah, just a minute. God, I really hope that wasn't important. Having a good day, Barney. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe I just did that. I just... It was, it was right here. I've read it through all the usual files, and I can't find a thing about Dr. Newman or biotech industries. You mean they don't exist? Not that I can find. The address is bogus. And besides, when you call the number that he gave, a machine answers with the name biotech. But it's only a machine that you get. We're running a trace right now, but so far we can't find anything. What do you mean you can't find anything? Who's the phone listed to? No one. It shouldn't even exist. Look, I can't explain it, but I'm having the FBI office in Kansas City check it out. But it may take a while. What's this Dr. Newman doing here anyway? I don't know, but I think I'm going to find out. Thanks, Barney. Barnes! My name is Barnes! Do I look purple to you? No, Mr. Ryan won't be in this semester. He's up working on a communication system of a Fort Riley. He won't be back till the end of the semester. So do you know where this uh, Fort Riley is? Yeah, it's about two hours away. Why? Jason! What's your hurry? Hi, Laura. Who's your friend? Hi, TJ. This is Jason. Jason what? Jason SP-162. Jason what? TJ, leave him alone. Jason what? Can you take me to Fort Riley? I don't have a car. Laura, what's going on? I don't know. Well, I bet he has a gun. So where's transportation? I take it you don't have a car either? So Jason, you ever spend time in prison? What is prison? Do the words straight jacket mean anything to you? No. Jason, why are you in such a hurry? Well, there's a man who's trying to kill me. Oh, great. That's nice to know. CTJ, he's not a killer. He's being hunted by a killer. Oh, that'll work, too. I really need to see Mr. Ryan. How can I get there? Now, wait a minute. Who's trying to kill you? I don't have time to tell you now. What if I took you to Fort Riley? You could give me the whole story then. Yeah, an exclusive. An exclusive what? An exclusive story. I'm a journalist, remember? <laughs> You're a student reporter. And I'm searching for the truth. Well, that's all I want. The truth. Great, then let's go. My car's across campus. Wait a minute, there's a killer on the loose. I know, isn't it great? This is better than an in-depth story on gym seat. climb up here anyway. Why couldn't we use a front door like everybody else? Ryan's in a secluded bunker on this side of the base. How do you know? I feel like I've been here before. What is this place? It's a military base. Is it on here, Air Force? Uh, Army, I think. What is it used for? That's a good question. 
to protect this grand land of ours from the ruthless barbaric hordes of individuals that try to steal our VCRs, little red sports cars, and that fabulous costume jewelry that you can only buy on the Home Shopping Network. The world is a strange place. <laughs> yeah, look who's talking. So what's the plan, Kimo Sabi? You know, there's an emergency exit down there that we can uh, sneak into. Why it's there, I, I can't remember. I feel like we're about to stumble onto some huge military cover-up. The next Watergate. Does the phrase bodies never recovered mean anything to you? for the cover of Time Magazine. Okay, Mr. THX 1138, which way now? Down this way, I, I think the tunnel curves off to the left to another junction. I can't shake this overwhelming feeling that I've been here before. Deja vu? Is that what the name of this place is? I thought it was Fort Riley. No. Oh, never mind. So you never did tell me where you're from. You know, I'm still waiting for my story. Well, I escaped from the sanctuary and programmed a sentry to get me down here to my place of origin. Say again? Sanctuary? Were you in some kind of religious boarding school? What is religious? Look, pal, just tell me where you're from. What city and what state? I don't know what you mean. I I'm from the sanctuary. <clears throat> I better win a Pulitzer Prize for this. stumbled onto a James Bond movie. It's a coordinate map of astrological data. A, a star map. Those are constellations. It looks like they're sending out transmissions of some sort into space. Oh, then we stumbled onto a Star Trek movie. But they're concentrating in the wrong area. What are you talking about? No. They won't let me do what I've set out to do. We've come too far to be given this inadequate equipment. What we need to do is select a quadrant concentrate the transmission there. Dr. Ozzie, are, are you doing that? No, no, I'm not. The coordinates have changed to L14. That's right. You know what? Someone else must be on the system. I think you'll find what you're looking for in L14. Surprise! Who are you? Are you Mr. Ryan? Yes, I am. Do I know you? How did you get in here? <laughs> well, you know, you see, that's a very good question. We were on our way to see a chorus line, and we took a wrong turn. I'm calling the security. Excuse me. Phone is dead. Are you kids from the college? Well, we are, but 
Jason here came looking for you with this. Where did you get this? I found it in the sanctuary. What is it? It's an old photo of me with my son, Jason. I don't know who you are, but the security will not- There's no need to trouble security with this. This is supposed to be a security area. How the hell is everybody just waltzing in here? I temporarily disabled the communication detection devices in this area. But don't worry, as soon as we leave, everything's going to return to normal. It's time to go home, Jason. Why have you lied to me? No one has lied to you. Well, then who am I? You, you know the answer. Is he my father? There's no purpose in this, Jason. Who are you people? What's going on here? Uh, where's your son now, Mr. Ryan? He... he was kidnapped when he was four. I found that image stored under my name in the sanctuary. That's me in the picture, isn't it? I just... I just feel like I've been down here before with my father. Jason... You were gonna be told everything anyway when the caretakers felt it was time. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm still a little fuzzy on this whole uh, sanctuary guardian thing. Uh, exactly where are you from? That's what I've been trying to find out since I've met him. He doesn't exist. There are no records of him. And then, as I was trying to take him downtown for questioning, he grabs my gun and forces me here. Well, we do know he's a killer. Look, uh, he, he wasn't really trying to kill me. I, I just told you that so you'd help me escape. Look, as far as everyone's concerned, we don't exist and we were never here. Jason, we need to go. Jason, why did you change the coordinates of our program? What's significant about L-14? I waited for you to come. I wanted you to find me and take me home. Why didn't you? I didn't know where you were. What do you mean your son was kidnapped? What exactly did happen to him? We were on a camping trip, and we'd already gone to bed, and I can remember I... I woke up to Jason screaming, screaming for me to help. But I couldn't move, I couldn't open my eyes. And then when I could get up, all I could see were bright lights over the trees. I saw you below me. I yelled, but you couldn't hear me. I wanted to go back, but they said I had to leave with them. Jason, who said that to you? The caretakers. I never saw Jason again. I didn't know where he went. I didn't know how to find him. I guess that's when I started concentrating on long-range communication. In the back of my mind, I guess I always hoped I'd locate him that way. Are we talking about what I think we're talking about? Jason, this was not the time for you to return. We need to go back to the sanctuary. Why? Why is this not the time? What are you doing with him? I've already said too much. Jason, let's go. Now we're in a Steven Spielberg movie. What? What? <laughs> what are you doing with Jason Newman? He's part of something you can't possibly imagine. But does he want to be part of it? He escaped to find himself. His life is up in sanctuary, and when he is ready, he will return. Who are they, and, and why do they have to take Jason? The caretakers have been here for a very long time. They chose very special people to prepare for the reconciliation. You have no idea of what has happened or what has been happening. All of you are ignorant to your place in the Earth experiment. It will soon be time to right the wrongs of human history. Jason, you don't have to go. You can stay here with us. You belong here. Your home has always been here. See, for me, Sanctuary has always been my home. Newman's been my guardian. Well, when I found that photo, I realized there was something missing in my life. So I had the Sentry bring me back here where they found me. I guess I thought I could find myself. Maybe I did. You see, I just don't belong here. Not yet, anyway. Let's go, Jason. What 
is the reconciliation? You'll find out. Look for it in quadrant L14, Mr. Ryan. Sentry sitting right in front of me, and I forget I'm holding my camera. Wait a minute. I think I had my gun. Well, wonderful. How am I supposed to explain this? Well, sir, I was kidnapped by aliens, and he took my gun. Mr. Ryan, are you all right? You kids better leave now. I'm sure base security is already sealing off the area. Good point. Uh, Laura, what were you saying about bodies never recovered? <laughs> Shouldn't you be writing your story of the century? Oh, that. Well, I decided against publishing that for now. Besides, Jason owes me an exclusive interview, so I'll just wait till I see him again. So instead, I thought I'd do a story on those new gym seats. <laughs> Why in the world would you want to do a story on that? Well, it turns out that Lisa Warnall is a basketball player. So I figured I could ask her her viewpoint on how the new seats affect the team's morale, or something like that. Which would, in turn, require several extensive follow-up interviews. I see. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I gotta go call Lisa and ask her out. Um, for an interview. <laughs> for an interview. See you later. <laughs> see ya, and good luck.
deduction and induction is clear cut. Uh, for instance, noting with many famous philosophers uh, that uh, the sun comes up every morning. Maybe you have deduced this or maybe you have just come to that conclusion from the past 3,000 dogs. So what we need to know, the two flavors will always be distinctive while deduction is at the end about the axiom. Induction is has the ring of the maxim. Any questions?